Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem named as print diagonally. So in this problem we are given a n cross n matrix A and we need to return all the elements of anti diagonals from top to bottom. Now what do we mean by this? Let us first understand what is diagonal. Okay, so diagonal are these two. Okay, suppose this is a given matrix. So this would be the diagonal. So now let us first solve this. So if we draw a diagonal like this, so the first element would be one. This is anti-diagonal. Okay. Next, if you observe that if we draw this, this would be an anti-diagonal. Okay. And the next one would be this one. Okay. And the last one would be this. That is why the output to this is one, two, three, four. So now if you move forward to the next one, then you would understand that this diagonal element has a way or a pattern that you can detect. If we just solve the second example, which is given, and it is quite good to be honest. So let us first draw it. What is the anti-diagonal? Okay. So if we draw it, we have the first one as one so let us first see we have written this one then we have the next anti-diagonal element as two four it is done next we have the anti-diagonal element as three five seven we have it and next we have the anti-diagonal elements as six eight and the last one remaining is nine so if you observe that basically what we are trying to do is we are first drawing a diagonal we are writing here one the upper one then we are drawing a diagonal. What is the upper one? That is not written. Okay. Then we are again drawing a diagonal. We are having this. So if you see that this is nothing but suppose I would just draw a way in which this is done. We go to 1, 2. Then we are going to 4. Okay. After that, we have 3. So let me draw it with a different color. We have 3. Then we have 5 and then we have 7. Now after that, what do we have? We have 6. So I would draw it with again a different color. 6 and then 8. And this one is the ninth element. So if you observe, this is nothing but printing the upper diagonal. Okay. Printing the upper diagonal and then the remaining part, that is this one. Okay. Is our answer. Okay, so what we need to basically do is, suppose if I draw a diagram, then it would be quite clear. Suppose this is the given matrix. Okay, this is the given matrix. And then we have something like this. So first it's quite sanguine that we would draw this part first. Okay. We would draw this part first. After that point of time, we would draw the remaining part. Okay. Whatever is here. Now why I am drawing like this? Because either the upper part should take this or either the lower part should take this corner element. Okay. So you would see a difference in implementation. What difference? So see, first we would print all of this diagonal. Okay. But the second diagonal would start from this 1th index, not 0th index. Why? Because 0th index is already printed. Okay. So this is more of an implementation pattern, implementation problem if you find out the pattern. Okay. So if you just draw it in a pen and paper, you would see that first I need to print this, then I need to print this, then I need to print this. So it is what? It is just printing this diagonal first and this diagonal in the second. Okay. And this would be done. How we can do it? Let us answer that also. So print that element. We would first this index, this index, this index, and then this index, then this index, this index, this index. So diagonal print of an element, diagonal print of a matrix. Okay, how to print diagonal elements of a matrix? If you just solve that problem, then this problem anti-diagonal would be very much clear to you. So now let us move to the implementation as this is now an implementation heavy problem. Okay, so let us move to the implementation. Okay. So now we have the first for loop and we would initialize for in k is equals to zero, k is less than n and k plus plus. Why? Because from zero till less than n, we would print all the elements. Okay. 
So it is just like suppose this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will just show you what I'm trying to do. So this is just like I would print this element. Okay. I am taking these all elements. How I am taking? I would just now have the red one and then I would make you understand. Okay. So now if we are having here, okay, we would initialize row is equals to zero. Okay, because we need to first print the first row. Then column is equal to the value k. Okay, whatever this one is. So if this is the first element, we need to print zero, zero. If this is the second one, we need to print zero, one. This is less like the same one. Okay. So now while column is greater than or equal to zero, what we would do is we would say answer dot push back the index a of row and a of column. Okay. Simple thing. And then what we would do is after this while loop, okay, after this one, we would have the row plus plus as well as column minus one because we are printing the diagonal elements. Okay. Then as I have said, we would print from this element, from this element. Okay. These all elements are now printed. So we are printing this element. That is why I would initialize the first J is equals to one. J is less than N and then J plus plus. Okay. Now we would have start from the very last element and then row would be equal to the Jth value. Okay. And then we would say while row is less than the value given value N. And then we would say answer dot push back A of row. Okay. And column itself. After this is done, we would have row plus plus and column minus minus. Okay. And after all this thing, we would return the value of the answer that is given. Okay. Simple. Thing. Now let us just compile and run. So print diagonal elements of a matrix is this one. So if you're not understanding this loop, just solve the problem, print diagonal elements of a matrix. That is a prerequisite. How we are printing the anti-diagonals by observing the patterns, by printing the first half and by printing the second half. Let us try to submit this and see if we can get an EC or not. Yes, we got an EC. Let's talk about the time complexity too. Talking about the time complexity, the time complexity is big of n into n. Why? Because we are traversing the whole matrix exactly equal to 1. And the auxiliary space is big O of n into n. Why? Because we are storing all the elements. Okay. So, if you are here till this point of the solution, consider liking the video and commenting on the video so that the reach of this video could be increased. Thank you and have a nice day.